<laughs> oh my god. I was just waking for my nap, sorry <laughs> for that. Did I be just waking for a nap? Is because. Oh my god, the temperature is horrible right now. 37 fucking degrees right now in my bedroom. That or worse, you want this to, to be? Because, yeah. 30 fucking 7 degrees. That, yeah, the weather here in, where I live in Mexico is fucking horrible. But, anyways, uh, welcome everyone to the to the stream of uh, Lost Kingdom 2. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, change the title. Escualeta! Okay, so here we are now. So, this might be the last stream of this game. Not sure. We will see. Water. I did a Kraken. I got six stars on the on Earth. Maybe I can go and capture one of the monsters. Uh, who is my deck? Hmm. You know what? I can probably go and capture that guy. Or my capture cards, because I think I'm running out of capture cards. Oof. Alright, that's good. Oh, God. I only got two cards. I might not have enough time to actually uh, do the... So it's rock now. What deck do I got? Let's give it a try. I got two cards. I'm gonna need to buy another card. Rare! But yeah, I'm gonna need to buy probably another card. How's this paleta doing, by the way? A, B, Y. I say A, B, and Y. Oh, there you go. What is here? Okay, there is here. But yeah, how you guys are doing fine? Here I'm dying. There we go, okay. So, time to deal with another monster. This is the Lich. Yay! It's Gualeto at home. Here I am just dying of heat. 37 degrees, almost 38 degrees here. So the weather is a pain. Perfect. No, come here. There. Perfect! I got Eddie Ball. I'm happy now. When Cello comes in the next weekend. Naturally, at the end of the stream, I will say, okay, hey, look, I got it. Actually, I'm gonna take a picture. Uh, take. I can't. Oh, well. But yeah, that's another card for the deck. Hooray. I'm gonna need another card. Gosh darn it. Okay, so this is the thing. This is my status. I need to level up my wood skill and my fire skill. And then I will be able to capture the other two monsters and play this thing. But also I was able to capture this other monster. What is it? Uh, it's there, right? Uh, shit, what is it? Shit, I lost it. Oh no, there it is. I got two cards. Hey, Hajime, welcome. Let me take out a little screenshot here. I need to share these two children. Fires of Hell, a weapon type creature with absolute power, they create fire pillars of chaos and sweep away all enemies in the front of the summer. The pillars might also turn victims to stone. Ooh, that might be useful. Yeah, I'm totally gonna be sharing this with Jello because this is totally his character. Athena! Okay, so I need to level up wood. 
on water. So what I'm gonna be doing is... Uh, no, I'm gonna pick another thing. Wood and water. These are just water deck. You know what? Yes. Edit deck. Actually, here I'm gonna create a special deck right now. And I'm gonna focus on that in this time. Okay, so for this deck, I'm gonna mostly focus on my hills. I'm gonna mostly focus on what is going to be probably the final boss. For the final boss, I'm gonna need a distraction. I know if I have a distraction or not. I actually do not. I might go for a lot of powerful damaging monsters. Attribute type, hard level, my So yeah, I might go for a lot of really powerful cards for when I go to the final boss. Like two swordsmen, probably an eporay. Yeah, I think you're okay. Oh, 33 monsters already. What? Why am I using 33? Two. Hold on. Now I'm confused. Oh, it's because of these people. Uh, that's a good number of monsters. I'm gonna get rid of that one more I'm gonna bring another one of these. <laughs> You know what, Lost Kingdom remind me also to Yu-Gi-Oh! Actually, yeah, I think, I don't know if it's inspired on Yu-Gi-Oh! or not that inspiration from Yu-Gi-Oh! But yeah, it's basically kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh! I need some powerful magic pieces. I don't need the God of Destruction. Okay, probably not either. I'm not gonna need this card, because it's gonna be more like... Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna need some summon monsters now. To actually do more damage. One, two, how many I got? 27 monsters. Okay, so this is the thing that I'm gonna be doing with the final monster. So this is why I'm trying to look for very powerful monsters. And it's because the final boss... Shit. Actually, two of them. No, actually. One leech and... Two leeches, actually. I'm gonna get rid of two of these monsters. I think that will be okay. So, this is the thing. This is my deck. So, the final boss... I'm gonna... This is the tactic, and I hope it really works. So, basically, the strategy for the final boss is that I'm gonna need one single monster to actually do the distractions. So one monster is gonna have to be the, the bait and the other monster and while well, the final boss is attacking that monster I'm gonna need to start focusing on just dealing damage to him. Like just piling up on him. Also I kind of want to see if I can level up the fire attribute and hopefully the what other attribute will we find? I kinda wanna see if I level up the fire attribute and the Oh I got 20 fire cards. Never mind. 17 50. Okay, I want to level up the fire attributes. So I can actually uh, capture the last monsters that I need. There we go. I guess that will be okay. I just need to level up what? No, water, no, it's wood. Fuck. Okay. I need to level up wood. I actually gonna need to sacrifice at least two monsters for each. You will see why. 
I think I need 14 of these. But yeah, I hope all of you guys are doing fine, by the way. I forgot to say that. I hope all of you guys are doing fine. So it's wood, water, I don't need that. Because I already got water at maximum at uh, the high level, so I don't need water. I can't get rid of the water monsters. Just bring these two. Actually, I just bring these two. I got fire. I'm gonna lower one fire in particular. And I'm gonna bring two drop. And I think the ones that I'm gonna bring as drop... It's gonna be one of these. And another one of water that is like preferably a standalone monster. Or a transformation monster. So what I'm gonna be doing is basically I'm just gonna go into a warp and a level and see if I can actually uh This looks more easy to manage than the others. A little bit. So okay. So what I'm gonna try to do is Try to raise my fire and my wood at least one more point. I don't know if I will be able to do this on camera. It's 6 14. I'm gonna spend just a few minutes trying to level up my other two attributes so I can collect the final monsters. In the meantime, we can talk. Yeah, because right now I really don't gonna need to worry too much about the monsters. I just need to make sure that I'm using the fire monsters. Because just by using the monster cards, yeah, kind of like a little bit of grinding time. I'm not gonna spend the entire stream just grinding. So don't worry about that. I'm just gonna do a little bit of time. And if I can be able to level up the fire or the wood, then I'm gonna jump to the final boss immediately. So I don't want to waste your time, guys. Just kinda want to show how the thing is when you are literally trying to level up. I think just by using cards, it's enough to actually uh, level up. But not sure, really. Also, I don't know if the cards you need to use actually need to kill an enemy or they just need to be summoned that's another thing i don't know but hey that skeleton is at least gaining some xp or not because it's not attacking never mind also i need a little bit of extra money so i can be able to actually afford another capture card oh. I need a little bit of extra money so I can be able to afford another capture card for the last monster element. But yeah, I hope all of you guys are doing fine right now. I right now got my air conditioner turned on because it's unbearable. Did I don't grab that chest? I think I didn't grab the chest. Gosh darn it. Actually, I'm curious. Does the cards uh, level up if I actually use, the, use them without normal? It's windy and cloudy here. And here is 37 degrees. 37 fucking degrees. Like, my god, it's horrible. Come here. I'm gonna leak you. Oh, it's an independent monster. Oh yeah, it's a trap monster. I forgot. Hmm. I'm sorry, what happens if I try to use a uh, fire monster? I'm gonna try to use fire monster like nothing, like normal. See how that works. Because I think as long as you use card monsters, you technically level up your skills. Not sure. 
So that's why I'm using cards in front. Oh. In here, it was 22 C, C3. I'm so jealous for that. Because here is fucking 37 degrees, almost 38 degrees. And it's so horrible. I think I actually need to be killing enemies for them to actually level up. I think I wasted all my fire monsters. So. But yeah, welcome to the world of grinding, everybody, where I'm gonna be doing just this shit for a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna focus mostly on just cars. Just as nothing. Because I think as long as you continue using cards, you technically can get the the level up. So I'm gonna try now that theory. That as long as I use cards without necessarily hitting any enemy, it will count as a as a level up. So don't mind me if I waste just cards like an idiot. Hey, I hit him! Nice. Oh, that was cool. Oh yeah, but I also gonna need gems to actually can use it. It's 619. Yeah, I'm probably gonna stop the grinding. I'm just gonna do this short little session. And then call it. I'm gonna call you actually. Okay, let's try and see if just using fire cards actually helps. So I'm just gonna throw cards like random. I think it's possible actually that you don't need to actually use, like use like make sure that they kill. I think as long as you are using fire monster is enough. Also the yeah like you guys can see every time I use a fire monster or a monster without gems. It actually costs me health. So yeah. It doesn't seem that the It doesn't look like the level for the fire is going up. So I might have to be killing monsters actually for them to to level up. I got no more fire monsters? Yeah, actually I got the fire moray. I got this one. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be leveling up the, the fire attributes. Hmm, okay. So, I might not do that then. Let's go to the boss, shall we? Alan G. The Royal Upper Tower system, let's see. I might, after the boss, try to level up a little bit and see what I can do. Yeah, because I need more attributes for fire and boots. But anyway, uh, this is the deck for the final boss. Let's see if I can make this work right. So this is gonna be the tactic. I'm gonna have to use the pillar as a decoy, the decoy pillar. So they try to attack the pillar. I'm gonna be using the Fairy, the Phoenix, Okay, this is the tactic. This is gonna be the, the decoy. So this guy needs to make sure to stay alive for as long as he can. The Rebus, the Fairy, and the Phoenix will be my healing, my healing things. All the other monsters are gonna be my attackers. Except for these two. The Manflayer and the Simon, the only thing that they're gonna do is 
literally bringing cards back to life when I'm running out of cards. So that also means that I'm gonna need to make sure to reach to the boss without wasting absolutely almost no cards at all. Thankfully it's not gonna be too hard, because I think it's just a very straightforward path. See, there we go. The boss is up there. So I need to look for... There it is. There it is. That's the pillar. That's what we need. Okay. Let's give it a try and see how we can do. Final boss. And this is where the battle begins. So I'm gonna move and put probably the decoy pillar right here. So the decoy pillar will be there to actually lure the boss. While I'm gonna be here attacking and healing. It's almost running out. I'm gonna get rid of these Fady. I'm gonna need a Fady instead. Oh! Okay. It helped a little bit. The Phoenix is down, but it's okay. The boss took a lot of damage, so that's what it matters. Let's see how this works, but I'm actually really scared. Okay, just try to move away now. I'm gonna need to heal again, preferably away from the boss. Yeah, let's try to stay away. The skill. That's okay, I guess. Shit, it's gonna be. I don't know how much hell they have this So that will be a thing. You've got a lot of health, actually. Okay, I'm gonna walk away right now. That's not bad. He got very little health, actually. Oh my god, he's, he's spamming that attack. Look away. That helps. That actually helps a little bit. Let's see if I can kill this thing. Just for gems. Oh. Okay, I got a little bit of gems. Not too much. How many cards I got in my deck? I got a Fady and a Reboot. Do you know what? I'm gonna go for it. For that. You will see. I 
I'm gonna need to bring another of the monsters. I might probably go will need another decoy healer, another decoy healer. Because I don't think I will be able to be the final boss. Still got a lot of health. But let's try. Okay, I'll take the hit. I think it's almost dead. Just a little bit more. I think it's almost dead. Yeah, it's almost dead. Do I want to risk it? Yeah, let's go. I'm almost out of health, but let's go for it. There we go! <laughs> it was worth it! I stopped the God of Harmony. Yay! And now we got the best ending, so we're gonna have the good ending. Hi, it's me again. Oh, I really hope we can be friends with Rashi Anu and Soul forever, don't you? to have friends again? Yes, it is nice to have friends again. Ah, so there you are, Tara. I thought you might be hiding in here. Waiting to see the great hero, especially me. few more things to do. There is one more area that I still need to unlock. That's why I need to increase my element of fire and wood. But hey, that was a fun game. Also, this is my first time completing this game. So, so I'm actually really happy with this. I was not expecting that it would work, I was like, I run out of, my decoy pillar run out, and I was running out of health, so I was like, okay, I might lose this battle. The tactic was working, yes, but I feel that it might not work correctly, because I was close to dying. It was like, if, if, the, most, if the boss didn't die first, I'll die first. Thankfully, it was not a thing. And I actually was able to defeat this guy, so I'm actually happy. Yay! 
Yes, I can't believe I made it. Oh my god. Also squeaky. Squeak. Save mission results? Yes. Yeah. Memory card all day. This is the first time I complete this game. I don't know how to feel. I feel happy. I never had beaten this game before, so I'm actually happy that I was able to complete this game. But for what I remember, there is a few optional things. Well, additional things, like in the first game, I think. So let's look at the completed game. I need to level up my fire and my wood. Yes, we have the someone to bring back cards, so I just have to play things and use it. Killing card back. Actually, mm, actually, yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't notice that. Hmm. Alon Gen. Oh, yeah, there it is. There is one additional thing the Proving Grounds. Underground level of one. We got the Proving Grounds there. But I still need to level up my elemental monsters, so now that I beat the game, I'm gonna edit this deck a little bit more and bring mostly fire, because I really need to level up my fire attributes. I think it actually will be faster if I use a uh, weapon-like monsters. If I remember that place is hard, but you can get a really good capture of it. Hmm. Now I'm interested. Uh, where are the other monsters? I'm gonna get rid of the wood monsters. I want to level up mostly my uh, my fire monsters. Actually, I don't need the fade because I'm gonna be healing myself. So. I really don't need the fade. Get rid of this guy for a moment. And two of these. Okay, so this is the fire deck. It's just literally fucking fire everywhere. Actually, let me check the thing. I'm gonna put one single wood monster in case the wood goes down. Because that's usually what happens when you're working on leveling up an attribute, another one goes down. And I think the best monsters I can put for that is just these monsters. So I can re summon them again. There we go. So, like this. So, come join the dino in the boring thing that is the increasing my levels. <laughs> because I think I only need to do that. Yeah, I think I only need to use cards, so they actually level up. Oh yeah, I also I need to get one. For another of the capture cards. True. I almost forgot about that. But yeah, I do remember that if you use a lot of cards, a certain element. Like in this case, fire. Fuck. I probably should be able to level up. I hope that eventually I will see the fire level pop up. And that means I will be fine with that. I'm gonna focus mostly on weapon cards. I think. Also, I don't know if, if the uh, strength of the monster counts, like the level. Oh, there we go, fire up. Okay, I just need to use fire like crazy. So there we go. Fire went up now. 
So if we see my status, now I got six fire. That's exactly what I need. Okay, so now I need to do the same with grass monsters. So now let's bring mostly grass and let's remove the only grass that I need right now. I'm only gonna bring one fire monster just to make sure that I can actually have some level up. In case the fire monsters go down. And it's gonna be cute. So now we go for woods. Again, only uh, weapon type monsters. Because that, that actually gives the most. Well, probably not the most, but it's the weakest ones to use. Okay, so now I got my uh, wood deck. So now let's level up the wood monsters. I was drawing something for you for the squeaker. Hey, the squeaker! Okay, so now it's time to do the leveling up for the wood monsters. <laughs> See? This is exactly what I bring the fire monster with me. Because that can happen. So when you're leveling a certain element, another element is gonna go down. So it's good that you bring another element with you. There we go. Okay, so now... Let's focus mostly on the wood. I don't care about the neutral. There goes the fire. So let's go for the fire car again. So now the fire is up. What are you trying to do again? I need to level up my stats to level 6. I need to be 6 stars on fire, water, earth, and wood attributes. I only need wood attributes now for, for what I need. So that's the only thing I need. I really love this game so much too, so yay. So that's why I'm actually happy to be off screen. There goes fire again. Let's go for the fire card again. Where is the fire card so I can level it up? There we go, level up. We get rid of you. And we can we keep using wood cards until they finally decide to level up. It's a nice place to level up because you got these really close. And basically you only get here and you heal yourself. And you can continue using your cards. So yeah, I'm just scumming the level up. And hope that I can actually be able to. There goes the fire again. Okay. Where is the fire card now? So I can level it up. It's right there. Fire up. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna need to bring some some cards back. 
I really hope I can be able to level up the wood so I can go for it now. It is, I love it. It's like my Dino Papa. Okay, let's get rid of these two. Oh my god, how many wood cards I'm gonna be needing? I'm gonna need. I'm gonna going to need a lot of wood. Dino needs his wood. That sounds bad. There goes the fire down again. Okay, let's heal. I wish there ha there was like an experience counter or something, so you know actually how much you need for the level up. Instead of use uh, use cards like crazy like this. Let me get rid of this. There we go. Wood we'll went up and fire is up. So that should be six of each element, right? Let's see. That should be six of each element. Statues. Yeah, there we go. Six of each element. Neutral and mechanical doesn't really matter because they don't they are not count as elements or elemental. They are all considered neutral cards. So, you don't need to worry about the elementals. But before going that, I need to go to the card shop. Because I need to sell shit. Why? You will see. Hello, dude. Okay. I can buy a shit ton of cards now. Literally all the cards that they sell during the game. Now you can buy them. But what I'm, I'm here is I want to sell cards. Preferably cards that I have a lot of duplicates. Because they're gonna give me a lot of points. Hmm. Oh no, it's a, I only got one. I got two Baba Yagas. I'm seeing down the recounter to see what cards I got the most so I can upload. I will sell an Amber Dragon, but I don't know. I got five of these, but man. Three Manticores. I know what I can capture the Manticore. Probably leave that way. I got three deads. If I sell one dead, how much gold I will have? I need one to do. I need 4,000. I need literally 4,000 gold. So that's exactly what I need. I need 4,000 gold. You know what? I can get my flyers quite easy because these guys sell them on the store. No, but no. I'm gonna send two aggressors actually. Ooh. I'm gonna sell probably two of these. I just need 3,000. Okay, let's see what else I can sell. Six. I got three coca drives, but I don't think I want to Actually... I know what I have that many of these. I got a lot of plants. I'm gonna sell only three of these. It's almost there. I'm gonna sell one more. There we go. Yee! I got it! Okay. So now I'm gonna go to Kadichu. Why? Because I need something. Also, hello. They say that there is a warning on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the war is over. Ah, 
There we go. Now I got the last card that I need. Why? Well, because I'm gonna go here. To the secret to the arena one, but I need another thing. I need this thing. Edit deck. And let's put the other capture cards. I'm gonna get rid of the reboots. I'm just gonna put probably a... Uh, I'm gonna put one single trainer. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. And these two guys. I'm gonna bring with me one single... What? Big red. I'm gonna bring a global boss. Actually, I'm gonna bring you. Yeah, only you. And here I'm gonna bring another independent fire. Not a sure. So this is my deck now for the moment. One wood, one fire. So one of each element, basically. And the god of destruction. Why? Well, you will see. First, let's go and save into the deck. So now we are here. We are at the Colosseum. We fight the Fire Elemental. And we fight the Earth. The Water Elemental and the Earth Elemental. So now let's go for the Wood Elemental. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna open the doors for the Wood Elemental. Final judgment. <laughs> yeah, our wood went down, but it's okay. It's all part of the plan. There we go. Captured. Nue. Nuez. I got a nuez. There we go. Now the wood went up. Now I need a fire element. Exactly. <laughs> it's a nice way to do that. Oh, wait. I need my uh, God of Destruction. There we go. Oh shit, I don't know how much it's gonna cost now. Because it requires 28. I might die. Unless I do something. Hey, Perotto, welcome! Okay, let's abort the mission. And let's go back in. And let's go for the final monster that we need to trap, that is the fire one. That's the wrong set of cards. Perfect. Uh, that's earth. That's water. That's wood. No, that's earth. Right? What? I'm confused. Oh no, this is fire. Okay, never mind. Duh. It's going fine. Extremely heat here. I hate it so much because it's 38 degrees. But I'm doing fine. Okay, so... Final turn. Fire and wood went down. But it's okay. This the monster gets hit, and there we go. We got them. 
Gemini cards. And that's all of the monsters. Now we level up the woods. I mean the woods. And the fire. Oh my god, the wood went down again. And the wood. There we go. So now my stats are okay. But now we got all the creatures. Well, it seems that the beast brought by Kendari has made his lair in the Castle. You might have heard this already, but the beast is a remnant. It's a remnant of God of Harmony. After seeing the gods of creation and destruction in Woodstone, the God of Harmony became a wall of life in the morning too. When the Wood of Harmony did that, it left behind its body. The Kendari evidently stumbled over it and tried to take advantage of it. I know these things because I myself am born of the God of Harmony. Hard to believe, eh? When the God of Harmony gave its life to become the great dividing wall, I came into this world. Okay, so it's the same. But yeah, that's all of the beasts now. So now that I beat all the beasts, I think I can just literally just finish this. I don't know if I need to fight something here or not. Oh yeah, this guy. Oh, but I'm not ready. Shit. Okay, so let me do something. Let me bring a good deck. This is a good deck, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this deck. Except for one thing, because I think I'm gonna need to edit something. Else. I need a God of Destruction. That's what I need. I need a God of Destruction and I can get one each. Okay, let me see, because I think I need to destroy all the beasts. And after destroying all the beasts, I also gonna need to beat that guy. I think that's actually the challenge of this area. And because I'm gonna be losing points, I think I'm gonna go and open the doors immediately. So basically, if I remember correctly, the thing that you need to do in this stage is that you actually going to need to beat the uh, different monsters. And also be that guy up there. So I'm gonna open all the doors. Use the God of Destruction, beat one of the of the creatures. I think that you beat the elemental, you can just go kick the guy's ass. I can? Okay, let's go and kick the guy's ass. If that's the case, then yeah, I totally will go and kill the guy. Ow! I can. And apparently I got cards I can pick. What? I don't know if I can pick cards in the stadium. But I guess I'll do that then. I don't know if you can actually select cards here. I wonder what cards you can get in this place. Now I'm curious. I forgot. It's okay, no problem. I forgot to. It's been ages since I played this game too, so... It's not your fault. I, I didn't knew that. I'm probably gonna do save states and see actually what... 
monsters I can get. Or Shade, can you check what monsters I can get in the arena? Doesn't matter what you get, it's always a skeleton. Really? Let me check. I'm gonna do a save state and make sure. File, emulation, save state. So Shade says that doesn't matter what card I pick, it's always gonna be a skeleton. I want to make sure. So yeah. Watch me reload a lot. It looks like it doesn't matter what card it is, it always gonna be a skeleton. Oh god, it is. Yeah, don't doesn't matter what card uh, you select. It's always a skeleton. Okay, that's cool. So I got a skeleton. But now we got another place on the sacred arena. That ain't gonna sabi. Sabad. Listo. I say it. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of the God of Destruction because I don't gonna need it if I don't gonna have to fight any of these guys. Not even the Decoy Dealer, probably. I might bring more of these guys. Where are they? I might bring. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. The Foray, I might get rid of this Oh, these are actually really useful. The leech is level 6. What are the monsters I can I need to think about other monsters. I'll bring you. The phoenix is for healing, so I might keep it. I'm gonna go mostly for fucking. Uh... I'm gonna go for this too. There you go. So this is my weird ass deck. Sacred Battle Arena 2. I got no idea what is gonna be here. So let's hope for the best. Apparently, there is five battles here. So let's see what I can find here. Also, there is three fades here. I think. In all the years since this place was built, no one has ever defeated all of the guardians. I guess I'm the first one then. Hmm, I don't know what to expect here. On I'm kind of nervous. There is another Fady up there. Shoot, I'm trying to think what will be the best thing to do. So I think... Hmm. Fuck, I don't know what I need to do here. The pata. I can do that actually. And see how it works.
this is gonna be uh, interesting, honestly. I don't know what... I don't know what to expect from here. Okay, let's go up here, shall we? Let's see what what is waiting for me on these doors. Perhaps there is something you have forgotten to do. Oh, I need to go to the other one. Okay, let me check these doors. Oh, wait, don't tell me I need it. The door refused to open. You don't have enough skill with the new. Oh my god. I'm gonna need to level up the neutral attributes and the mechanical attributes. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. A really, really huge problem then. Do I really need to level up all the attributes? Fuck! I need... Neutral and Metal Attributes To be level fucking 6 Well, I don't know how to feel about this. It's gonna be horrible. So I need level 6. Okay, this is the thing. And this is what I don't like about this game. Uh, I'm gonna mute this a little bit so I can explain. Okay, this is what I don't like about this game. So the game requires that your attributes be level 6 or more to open the doors. But the problem is that if you use any other attributes too much... Like for example, you saw me. I was trying to level up wood and fire went down. So I hate that of this game that if you want to level up one attribute other one is gonna drop down. Eventually two attributes is gonna drop down. So it's impossible for you to master all the six, well, yeah, all the six attributes in this game. And it's quite annoying. Because that means if I want to level up one attribute, I need to give up on the other attributes. Because they're gonna go down while I try to rise up the other ones. And I don't like that, honestly. Okay, after that little rant, instead let's go and check the other area before I call it for, at least for this game. So this is the uh, proving grounds. I wish that is, if like, for example, if you put all the effort into fuck. Okay, it's not what I mean to say. But I wish that if you put all the effort into leveling up a single attribute all the way to the max, the game was kind enough to say like, okay, your level, your attribute is max, so it doesn't drop anymore and stays on top. So I just wish the game did. Because that would be way more merciful than basically just like, oh yeah, level up this attribute, now level up this other attribute, now keep leveling up this attribute, and so on. That's my only problem with this game. Like, everything about the game is really good, it's really fun. It's just that of that not keeping the attributes at max and that every time you try to level up something they drop down. 
It's just a pain in the ass. Hmm. So how many rooms are here? Okay. There was another one. Uh, no, I know. No, no. You. I need you. Ow, my face. Ow. I exploded, but it's okay. Another one? Holy shit, how many of these bolas are there? Oh, I missed. Okay, that's all. Nope, that's another ball out there. Oh, wait, there is something here. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Oh gosh, I was not expecting that. So I can just need to go there and that's it. Okay. I'll take it, game. Thank you. Hmm. So I can get, get different cars here. Ooh. So according to Shade, what he told me is that you can get different. What? I thought I had... It's like lower alert. Lower alert. No, I I think it actually go does. Because when I went inside, it says level 1. So I think depending on the... On what you do. So that's a Dragon Knight. And that's a Side Beast. Okay, I might grab the side beast so far, but let me check what other things they are there. Oh shit. Berserk Master. I don't have the Berserk Master. So I might go for the Berserk Master and the thingy. Okay. Oh, so there is different cards. Oh shit. Flying Ray and the Berserk. Okay, so I'll go for the Berserk Master and the Side Beast. Side Beast and Berserk Master. Okay. So I don't know if it's actually like different levels or it's just one single level. That's what I'm gonna be seeing too. Oh, fuck! Okay, it keeps. You can literally skip or you can keep going. It's like a gauntlet. Well, shit! Okay, yeah, it's a gauntlet. Uh, how is my deck? Oh, they restored your deck. Okay, that's nice. So they literally restored my deck. There goes my neutral, but it's okay. Oh god, it's... I might use a full charge. Is that it? No, there is this guy still alive. Okay. 
Oh, they keep respawning. Okay, so I need to beat them once and then I keep them to go. So this is literally a gauntlet. Holy shit. What happens if I leave? Go down here, right? Right? I know where I need to go now. Fady. Do I need to break that gel? Ah! No. And break it. Hmm. I am confused. Oh, there we go. Enemies. Wrong element. close to the gate then no there is more of them again ah! yeah I actually got a fire monster let's try to use it I guess you're closed. I think there is no path there. What if I go back? I am extremely confused. Or maybe there is another path on this place that I didn't saw. Oh, there is another fucking door. That's why. The green goblin is chasing me. And there is another door there. Okay. That was pointless. What if I use this guy? It's not gonna work or anything. I can try. Yeah, it didn't work that well. I might need a fire monster to get rid of these things. Yeah, I might need a fire monster. Do I have any? No, I don't. Actually, I'm gonna focus mostly on this. 
how you are uh, are you are you hurt too? How do all these guys hurt? That guy is hurt. That one is hurt too. So I can use grass for them. Can I go here? Oh, I can just run away. Okay, I'll run away. Oh, there we go. That's it. Hey there, welcome! So I can just literally make my way here. Hmm. Fuck, the question is I don't know what else. What other monsters are gonna be here. I'm probably gonna do three floors of these and I'm gonna move to a different game. That's a wizard and a lizardo. I got a lot of them, so... Nah. I got a blue list, I got a basilisk and a red list. I already got both of them, so I don't need to worry about that. I mean, this can be a good way to get three cards for sure. Trenan and the Ben I might go for that. Okay, let's do one third final floor and see what is this up. And then I'm gonna, gonna move to another game before calling it for tonight's stream. Tomorrow I don't know if I'm gonna be doing stream, by the way, just to let you guys know. I might have to see about that, but I don't know if I will be streaming tomorrow or not. Just a uh, heads up. Okay, this up uh, locked but Okay, that's the door. It's right there. Ow, I know what I'm doing. You're dead now. So I guess you basically can just literally run to the end. I want to check that because I'm curious. And that would be hilarious if you can just do that. And just head to the bottom and do just this. Oh, golems. But yeah, I'm just gonna be doing only three floors here. The door cannot be open. Oh, okay, I need to defeat these guys. If I want to keep moving forward, so... Ow! That guy is down. Actually, I can show some combos. Yeah, actually, now that I think about that, because technically this was, this was the end of the game. Instead of move to a different game, I can just show the combos. Yeah, you know what? I will do that. I will show the combos on, of this game. And then I will call it officially for the stream. That will be the best way to actually conclude this. The combos are neat. Yeah, exactly. So I, I feel that will be the best way to actually uh, conclude the stream by showing the different combos of this game. I think the only one that I don't have of these monsters, according to what to the little uh, document that Shay sent me, it's a card called Matador. So let me look for it. No, that's Popcorn Charlie. I already got a pop a popo Charlie. So no. Let's look for a matador. 
I already got that one. The undead knights, like several of them. But yeah, I think yeah, this could be a good place to actually grind for some uh, monster fire more. Moraya. I already, I only got one fire more, but I want to get the. Oh, it's gonna be the last card. <laughs> Okay, that's the ladies actually. Is this one? There we go, Matador. I'm just gonna go for that, but I'm gonna call it here for this area. And what I'm gonna be doing actually is I'm gonna show the combos. Oh, that's a Valkyrie. Oh shit. Okay, abort. Do I need to go all the levels one by one, or I can just jump in? Oh, you start from the first underground. Okay, so you need to go all the way to the bottom in a single go. That's gonna be interesting for sure. I'm gonna do a backup save on the fourth file. Actually, on the eighth file. That would be great to be to do a. Back of file, so I don't touch it by accident. Okay, so now let me jump here. Okay, so let's reset this. Okay, so yeah, let's reset this now and go for the thingy. But my god, isn't that, I'm not gonna lie, this was a very, very fun game. I had a lot of fun with this game. I'm gonna be using a... Probably for this I'm gonna be using a cheat code. Uh, for the... For the magic. So I don't run out of magic while I'm showing the this. Yes! Sodeta! I got soda and coffee. Perfect to be a happy dino. But yeah, I think for only for this situation. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a dino bola. I'm gonna be a bolita. Actually, do I got an icon of the Dino Ball? I think I do got a Dino Ball icon, don't I? Hold on, let me check. Don't I have emoji? Yeah, I do got an emoji. Dino Bola. Okay, so... Like I say, I'm going to use some cheat codes for this. Mostly because I'm gonna be showing the combo thingies. And what I want to make sure is that I don't uh, run out of magic while I'm doing them. So that's the only reason why I'm gonna be doing the, the cheat codes here. So I'm gonna call this... Uh, I'm gonna check if the cheese is working real quick. Okay. Okay, let me check if the if the cheat code for the infinite magic is working. Because like I say, I'm gonna be using a lot of cards. That means I'm gonna be running probably really fast on magic. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Okay. How far it goes. <laughs> that looks hilarious. Okay, that looks really hilarious. It works. It actually works. Okay, so here we are now. Welcome back to Lost Kingdoms 2 again. <laughs> Sorry for that little uh, pause because I was checking the thing. But yeah, like I say, I'm gonna be doing and uh, showing the combos. 
So that means I'm gonna be doing uh, I'm gonna be using a cheat code, so I don't run out of uh, magic. You ate all the food so fast. I'm a bola now. So yeah, I'm gonna be using cheat codes. So don't think that I actually got all this shit. No, I don't got any of this. I'm using cheat codes to actually be able to show all the different uh, combo cards. So I need the Hagans. For what? For the first one, I need the Hagans. I need the Storm Hagan. Uh, fuck! I wish I can be able to see. I think I I need a Boom Hagan. What is it? Oh God. Uh, what is the Bomb Hagan? No, it's, it's actually working. Okay, let's look for the Hagans. Holy shit, where are the Hagans? I can't see them. I'm blind. I need a Rock Hagan. Okay, there is one. I need a Boom Hagan. And I need a... The other Hagan. What is it? The Storm Hagan. I need the dragons too. So I need a green dragon. I need an amber dragon. I need a water dragon. A green dragon, I think there's a name. Something dragon. Green dragon and red dragon. Endless! Hey dude, welcome! Glad to have you here. I need this and I need a carbon. They make spaghetti. Yes. I need the lizards. I need one. I need another lizard. Uh, what is it? Fuck, I'm losing. It's glad to have you here, dude. Hope you're doing fine. Venom lizards. Uh, water lizards. And fire lizards. I need three stone heads. A Ghost Armor and a Chaos Knight. Happy to be here chilling. How got the Love Kingdom today? I actually was able to complete the game. I'm happy that I was able to do that. I'm not gonna lie. Ghost Armor and Chaos Knight. I don't know what is a Chaos Knight. But yeah, I was able to complete the game and my god was really, really nervous about it. Chaos Knight. Fire Golem and Ice Golem. So I need a fire golem and the ice golem. I don't know where is the ice golem. Ice golem. No, that's fire golem. What is the fire golem? I don't know any of these cards. Just relaxing, surviving the heat. Yeah, the heat is horrible, actually. I mean, I'm dealing a lot of trying to survive here with the heat, and my god, it's horrible. Fire? No, that's Fire Gargoyle. I need a Fire Golem. Oh, there it is. Fire Golem. I got 20 cards. So. For the next one that I need, it's actually a Hogoblin and Goblin Lord. It's this and the Goblin Lord. That is this one. Carbuncle, Juggernaut, and White Lord. Oh god. So many combos! The Whipworm is good or is a uh, fuck? I think all of them are actually a uh, stone. So I need another Carbuncle. Uh, where is the fucking Carbuncle? Damn it, I lost it. Why is it so hard to find things? Juggernaut. Carbuncle. I need a Whipworm. Where the fuck is the Whipworm? Is it rock? I think it's an independent monster. Okay, let me sort. No, I mean sort by card uh, ID number. Actually, yeah, card ID number. I think the carbuncle, whip worm, and Jovena. I need a whip worm. Oh, it was wood. Ugh. I'm dirty. I need two Dragon Knights and a Crystal Box. Okay, 
two Dragon Knights and a Crystal. There we go. And that will be it for the moment. So I got some of these here. So let's show the combos, shall we? Also, you got, you guys gonna see something hilarious with the magic bar. Don't worry. It's part of the cheat code that I activated for this. So just see this. Look at that. Look at that shit. It's long. Anyway. Okay, but yeah, that's the cheat code of the infinite magic. Like I say, I'm gonna be using this only to show the combos. That's why I don't use any of the cheat codes to actually complete the game. Because it will be kind of, uh, you're gonna destroy the purpose of what the game is. So, now that I got this, let's show some of the combos of the game. I need the Hagans first. I'm gonna show them in order. And I decided to go here to the first area, so you guys can see them perfectly. Uh, what is the other Hagen? I throw the Hagen. It's okay, I'll reach to there. Eventually. It's some somewhere in my deck. Somewhere on the bottom of my deck. I think it's there. Yeah, it's there. So, the Hagans. Yeah, that's the three Hagans combo. Hmm, you know what? I got a better idea. I'm gonna go to an area where there is monsters. And I'm gonna be using it on monsters. Let's do that. Let's go to the Proving Grounds, because there is always monsters spawning there. This will be the best place to show the things in action. So let's go! Oh god. At the same time, it will be funny because I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to look, shuffle my deck and try to survive. Yeah, that, so. This will make it fun. Go. So the triple hagen. Ah! Okay. The next combo that I need to do is called the Ultimate Pass. And I need all the dragons. There is one. I need the other. Where is it? Dergy! There it is. That's all of them. This is the Ultimate Pass. It's all the dragons. That was anticlimactic. So for the other I needed a Koi Pillar and a Carbuncle apparently. The Koi Pillar and Carbuncle. Okay, I got one. Uh, the Koi Pillar and Carbuncle. Oh, that's an interesting combo. That actually looks interesting. Rotary Dead is the name of this combo, by the way. Rotary Dead, and I see why it's Rotary Dead. The, the next combo is called Lizard War. And I need all the four lizards. 
pretty sick. Is this one? I need all of them. Okay, that looks badass. Uh, Rocky Forecast is the three stones. Oh, it's a summon instead. Okay, that looks cool. Ghost armor and knight armor, so it's these and these. Oh. It's a cross attack, I don't know how useful that will be. I mean, it looks cool. Fire and ice golem. So this is the other one, and it's called the... Uh... The, oh, the past one was called Seer Spare a lot. Seer Spear a lot. Tempered Tantrum. You know what? That actually looks really cool. Hogoblin and the Lord Goblin. Goblin gods. Okay. Uh, enemies. I need some enemies. I don't know how useful that would be. Carbuncle Juggernaut and Whip. And Whip form is something called Lethal Orbit. So let's take a look at it. Oh shit! <laughs> they are chasing me or they are just there? Oh, they are actually following me. Oh, that looks cool. So, little orbit. Little orbit. Okay, that looks interesting. And the last combo right now is this three. This combo is called... Crystal Rage. Okay, where is enemies? I need enemies! I see no enemies, I'm angry. Well, let's see this. Uh... I don't know how to feel about that, that was kind of lame. I mean, visually looks cool, but... Eh, I don't know, really. Ultimate Pasta is the name of the dragon one, by the way. <laughs> I really... Wrong, it's not Ultimate Pasta, it's Ultimate Pasta. Why is called Ultimate Pasta? Now I'm hungry. I want to see that one again of the ultim of the dragon, of the ultimate pasta one, because I think I don't saw that the right way. So let me check it again. So that's why I came back here. I should have just leave the cards. So yeah, apparently that combo with all the four dragons is called ultimate pasta for some weird reason. Damn it! I fuck it up. <laughs> Ultimate Pasta was supposed to look way cooler. It was supposed to be. But for some reason it looked kind of... Uh, lame. I'm gonna add a lot of these. Uh, choose the cards to remove. I'm just gonna leave the dragons right now. So I can do it like that quickly. And then I'm gonna continue showing the other comments. It wasn't a singular a singular far away enemy problem. Maybe that's why. Okay, let's do this one again of the ultimate pasta. 
And let's see how actually looks. I'm even gonna be away from the walls. Like it. Oh, there we go. So that's how it looks. It's got a big area of effect, actually. Apparently, it's all the enemies around there. Okay, that looks better. I was worried that it would be a shitty ass move, but it actually is. Really okay, so let's see what else do we got here that I can do. Yeah, the rest of the stream is gonna be you doing the. Uh, Mandragora Mixer. Mandragora King Mandragora and Mandragora Dancer. All the three Mandragoras. Wow. Mandragora, Mandragora, and Mandragora. What is the other Mandragora? So all the three Mandragoras for this. Rust and Roll. Acid Dragon and Pixie. I don't know the Acid Dragon, but. Uh, element is. You know what? I'm gonna go for the number of the cards. 188. Yeah, I'm gonna go instead for number of the cards. Oh, Wasi Dragon is neutral. I don't knew that. It's neutral. 72 and 100 and. Tiger Mage and Tiger Panther. It's 72 and 51. And this one, a Panther Mage. Oh my god, it's gonna be hard to remember. Just visiting his two double gangers. What? Did the double gangers actually had a combo? I don't knew that. But yeah, two double gangers apparently. Ifri, Dao, and Marit. 62. Oh, okay, it's gonna be the element. Dao and Marit. 31 and 34. There we go. So that tree. So the other one is Flying Ray and two Dark Ravens. Okay, let's go for it. Two Dark Ravens and a Flying Ray. Uh, where is the Flying Ray now? Flying Ray. Valkyrie Thanatos, one way ticket. So that's the Valky Valkyr, or Valkyrie, or Valkyra, and Thanatos. Persona combo. Fen Fenril, Vihima, Demon Fox, and Ice Caller. Okay, now that looks interesting. Okay, 24. Fendril. Behemo, that is 38. Demon Fox, that is a 64. And the Ice Golem, that is a 97. Oh, it's the Guardians. It's all the Guardians. Oh, that's cool. Big Save. Is the... Okay. So we save is the 4569. Nice. Great total. Blue Dragon. Golden Phoenix and the White Tiger. Oh, is the legendary beast of the game. Nice. Sukubos and Incubu. Sokobo and Inkubu. Okay. 1725. 
this, this, and 1.49. Jesus Christ, really deep down. And this one. Okay, so I'm ready for the next combos. I might go for a more clear area or a, an area with more light actually, because the other was too dark. This looks like a good place. So Mandragora Mixer is the next combo. Let's do that. We are almost out of the combos, by the way, in case you guys are curious. There is not too many. Rare! Hey! There it is! The Mandragora combo! Okay. Let's see the Mandragoras. Uh... Hello! I think there is no enemies. Wow, there is no enemies! Where am I gonna test my Mandragoras if there is no enemies? There is one! You are the lucky one! Wow, that was funny. I has to I had to sneeze. Okay, so I see dragon and pixie. Okay, where is the acid dragon? That's the acid dragon. I need the pixie. Where is the picky? Okay, there is a pixie. Pixie and acid dragon. Let's see. Oh! Rust and roll. Oh, I think this actually affects only the... The... Mechanical enemies, I guess. Yeah, I think that's against mechanical creatures. Okay. Uh, Economagic, this one, according to the little information that uh, Shade gave me, so I'm gonna explain when I find the combos. This actually have different purpose depending on where you are using it. That's if I can find it. Okay, there we go. So these two guys. This is called Economagic. So basically, my use of Spellstone is cut in half while they are on my... while they are active. In multiplayer, is the opposite. Your use of spellstone is cutting one. Oh, no, actually. Okay. Sorry, I explained wrong. I'll do it again. So while Econo Magic is active, any creature you have, it only costs one fourth of the normal magic. But if you use this in versus mode, your opponent is. Four times the cost to use a card. So this is a perfect combo for you, but it's a shit for your opponent in versus. So a card, apparently this next combo is different. Deadly combo attack feature and every down and a body. Okay. So for this I need these two. Uh, where are the other ones? Okay, this one. So that's just a combo like that. That looks really cool. That's actually called the... The Gina... The Gene and Beerit. That's the name of that combo, the Gene and Beerit. Triple Kamikaze. Okay, for Triple Kamikaze, I need... Uh, where is it? Okay, there we go. 
I need this tree. This is called Triple Kamikaze. Oh, that looks cool, actually. That looks like it's got a very, very high range. Ooh. Okay. So, one-way ticket. Valkyr and Thanatos. I will need to show that in another different way. Because I see the effect. I want to... Okay. So, for this one... I'm going to go all the way to the end of the level for this one. Because there is one monster there that I will need to use. There it is. I got all of them. But I'm going to go to the end of the stage because there is actually a very powerful creature. 80 gems! Okay. Hmm. I think I cannot do the thing. Wait, hold on. Am I doing the right cards? Great Turtle, Blue Dragon, Golden Phoenix, and White Tiger. Oh, wait, no. One of the cards is the wrong one. That's why. There we go. So, this is called... This combo is called the Master 4. No, the Big Save. A summon combat that restores full health and all your cards previously used. Okay, so this is basically to restore all the things that I use and heal me fully. So I'm gonna do that. Come on. Heal me. Heal me. Hit me. Hit me with your best shot and die. So this basically fully heals me and restores all my cards. Was that one? There we go. I got fully healed and I and all my cards were restored. Yeah, I don't got fully healed because I got hit, but it's okay. So for the next one I need There we go. This is the other one I need. But I'm gonna need to go to the I'm gonna need to go back to the map <laughs> because I'm gonna need to get rid of some monsters that I actually need. I'm gonna still stick to this one because I can get rid of this one. Fenrir, I'm gonna leave it actually. I think I'm gonna need to leave the Fenrir, right? Yeah, I need to leave the Fenrir. I can get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this one. These ones too. The demon fox too. I think I need to get rid of the demon fox. No, the demon fox no. Tiger mage, white tiger, golden phoenix. Ice golem stays. Okay, I'm checking exactly what monsters I need to get rid of. So I need the demon fox, the behemoth. The Fenrir and the Ice Golem. Okay, I got all of them now. These, I need to keep them with me. Raid Lead and Sekhmet. I'm gonna need to keep them with me, but I'm gonna need to go to another area. A different area. Also, let me go real quick to this stage. To the Holsock Town. To show the combo of Rust and Roll, that is the Acid Dragon and the Pig King. Because apparently that combo is only effective against machines. So that's why in the other map did absolutely nothing at all. Because this is a combo that is only for... Uh, only for machine monsters. So let me look for some machine monsters and use this. There is one. Let me see if I can... Actually, I think there is another mechanical monster somewhere over here. 
Yeah, there is one. So if I use this uh, combo, technically the monster will slowly start losing HP. So yeah, like you can see the monster start losing HP. The acid, the monster start losing slowly HP. Not that fast, but they are actually uh, losing. So basically, just by standing there, it's losing HP. They are losing HP. They are almost dead. They are dead. Yeah, that's basically the combo. All the machine monsters are slowly losing HP. Also, oh god, we got a summon this sub team. Well, I guess that's what I need to do now, so let's summon the sub key. Hey, there is a Saki there! Okay, now the Saki is with us! Okay, let me get rid of these two cards. I'm gonna put a shit ton of skeletons to actually get rid of all of the cards. This is the, easy, the fastest way to get rid of the cards that you don't want. So I need to get rid of the... Of the Acid Dragon and the Pixie. The Pixie and the Acid Dragon. Okay. I'm gonna need to bring some of these cards because I really want to show some of the other combos. But right now some of them, sadly, I was not able to show them because I need a very specific... The double gangers, I'm gonna bring them because they are actually special, and I'm gonna need to show them in a very specific way. So the next one I also... Oh, uh, I got that one, I got that one. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna show that one later on. Okay, so for these ones, I'm probably gonna be using uh, the... Okay, yeah, for these ones, I'm actually gonna stick with this deck. I'm gonna go here to the... To the Obenius Jorge. So here is, will be the best way where I can be able to show this... Uh, these decks or these combos. First, let's show this one. There we go. That's a combo that I need to do. Wow, 20. It's expensive combo, but you know what? It's gonna be fun to show. So this combo, it's called uh, the Master Four. And it's basically simulate, similar to the God of Destruction. Because what it does is that it just punishes elemental monsters. So that's basically what they do. See? That's what it does. It literally destroys elemental monsters like that in a very, very interesting way. So the other monster I want to do is the Phantom Bulldozer. That is the Great Elite on the segment. And this is basically uh, ice and water damage. It's these three guys. This basically applies fire and water damage. So let's try to use it in action. Is this? 
it's basically just that. So... So the next one that I need to show is the this one, the Tsukuwane. This actually it's called a uh, brutal nightmare. And that's it. It's, it put a spell on enemies. They attack each other and they also drain his magic in power. It can be perfect if you have uh, like uh, a lot of enemies around you. Phantom Bulldozer I did it. Uh, what is the other one I got? Hold on. Oh yeah, but I need this. Okay, these two ones. Okay. So these four ones, the Palkir and Thanatos is different. Also, I think the Doppelganger card is uh, Loving Embrace. Strolls nonchalantly through the battlefield. He finds a victim. He will kill the first creature that touches and okay. okay. No, it's still the same. It's still literally the same as the first game. But yay, the socket! Two Doppelgangers. Yeah. You need two Doppelgangers for a combo. That's how crazy that is. But I'm gonna save that combo for probably the last, because that's, that's the most uh, specific combo that you need. So I'm gonna need to get rid of these, 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 four, the Sukubus, the Incubus, and this one. Okay, there we go. So for the next combo cards that I'm gonna need to add... It's the... Gradually reduce the hit points of neutral and mech creatures for as long as they are on the battlefield. Okay. So I need the... Skeleton... The... Demon Skeleton... The Demon Soldier, or the Undead one. This one. Undead Knight. Oh no, Demon Skeleton? Demon Skeleton? Do I got a Demon Skeleton? I don't know. 93-100. Okay. Steel Skeleton and the Ice Skeleton. I don't knew that there was that many Skeletons. Oh god, there is one. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't knew that there was an ice skeleton. Okay, so stone golem and archer. So I need these two and the stone golem, apparently. Uh, there we go, stone golem and the archer. So, Elephant King and Elephants. I think I need one Elephant King and an Elephant. There we go. So, I need that in order for the combo. Running Bear and Gold Butterfly. Okay, that, that sounds like an interesting combo. So... Running Bird and Golden Butterfly. I do remember the Running Bird. And the Golden Butterfly. So it's this one. Gravity Pillar and Doppelganger. What? That's new? Gravity Pillar and Doppelganger. That's new? Uh, gravity Pillar? I don't know what is a Gravity Pillar. Do I call it a gravity pillar in the first place? Oh, gravity pillar. There it is. Okay. Weird. The one that sucks. 
Yeah. The Saki. Uh, okay, now I need elementals. Wood elemental. Earth elemental. Water elemental and fire elemental. Uh, what is the other one? Water elemental and fire elemental. Fire elemental. Okay. For the other one, I need a trainer and two raven, a two dark ravens. Uh, dark raven and one trainer. Where is the trainer? There we go. Trainer and two dark ravens. I need another golden border fly and an acid cloud. What? Acid Cloud and Golden Butterfly, okay. I don't know what is the Acid Cloud, actually. 141. Let's look for it. Uh, acid Cloud, what? I don't knew that there was a monster like that. Siren and Mermaid. I think I got both of them. There is a siren and there is in the mermaid somewhere here. Both are actually water monsters. That's a siren. Oh no, that's undyne. Okay. Larva fly. I was able to find the larva fly by my own normal way. But well, not really that way. Okay, the mermaid. Oh, it's a sprite, not mermaid. Apparently it's a sprite. Yeah, because I, I don't see any mermaids here. It says Siren and Mermaid, but the mermaid is a sprite, I guess. A Sphinx and two mummies. So I need two mummies and a Sphinx. Okay, so that's another set of monsters. First I'm gonna go here again because apparently the acid cloud and the... what is it? The... okay, there you, there you go. Acid cloud and gold butterfly, it only at damage metal mechanical creatures again. Why the mechanical? Oh, there it is. So it's these two. So gold butterfly and, and acid rain damage mechanical damage. Let's see. I'm curious about it. Also, the name of this combo is just called uh, Tetch Support. Supposedly. So let's see. Oh my god, they are frozen! Oh, shoot! So they are frozen! The mechanical enemies are completely frozen! Oh, that's cool! That's really useful! Oh my god! Go for it! Go for this guy! Can I push you to it? No, I can't. It's going slowly. Stop. Come for me. Come. Oh, that's a cool ass combo. I like it. Okay, that's a cool one. So the other one says uh, hearing aid. So the Sphinx. And the... So the Sphinx and the two uh, mummies apparently create a very powerful wave that damage all enemies in their way. So let's test that, if I can find the other mummy. There it is. Okay, let's see if I can find that monster. 
so this technically sends out like a shockwave. That was not too bad actually, it sounds really good. So the next one is the Siren and the other monster supposedly. Let me see if I can find it. Supposedly these two. Oh, apparently not, they don't. So that's the wrong combo. Okay, let me look for the skeletons or the elephants. Skeletons or the elephant? Let's see what is the first one. Okay, the skeleton. So, apparently that's it. Oh shit! That looks incredible! So, the name of this combo is called uh, Escula Palooza. And basically is that. So it's basically a continuous attack. So every time the uh, this ice skeleton attacks, it's just uh, literally a shit ton of attacks. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna show this in a better environment with more enemies. So, for this one I need, uh, what is it? Stone Golem and Archers. It's Cool Magidon. Yes, it sounds better like Cool Magidon than Cool of Sega. Do I got the Ice Golem somewhere? There it is. So this is basically the combo. It's basically these guys and you shoot at them. Okay, I want to see the different elements. Oh yeah, no, there is a Trenant too. Yeah, I forgot there is a Trenant. Okay, let's go for the element. So there we go. The four elementals is called a spiritual force. They call the hit points of every fire, wood, and earth creature. I don't have that. Okay, so because there is no uh, creatures like that, I'm gonna go for the other combo. That is the Trenant and the... Actually, there it is one. The two elephants. The Elephant King and the Elephant. So that's one. And the other combo is this. Also, the past combo that I did, the one with the Elephants, it's actually called Mega Tremor. And this one is called Acid Rain for some weird reason. I don't know why it's called Acid Rain. If there is nothing related to acid. It gives it the train and the beat. Also, let's see this one in action, shall we? The... Let me check what are the other parts of the deck. Actually, let me go to the other map with the elementals, so I can see that real well. And... Let me add some other parts to the deck. Let me get rid of some of them that we are in. This one and the Sphinx. What is the Sphinx? I'm gonna need to check the Siren one. 
I guess I know how that works. I can get rid of this one and one of it. Okay, two elephants. And I'm gonna keep these four skeletons. So I'm gonna do this one on the... on here, but I'm gonna need to add a few more monsters. But yeah, we're almost done with the combo, we only have a few more. So... 280, 290, and 220. So this is all more race. This is all just more race. 280, 290, and 220. So this is all three more race. It's a three more race combo. You guys already have seen me use this a lot. The so I'm gonna just put it again just to show it. What is the is the monk and the mind player? Do you already have a few different combined combo views? I had, but I want more. I can't have any more combos. So, cockatrices. So I need two cockatrices. Uh, I need two of these, two cockatrices. Uh, you guys saw me use this one too, the Rebus and the Fady, but I'm gonna show it again. Because I use this against the boss. <laughs> and I need Elf, Elf Lord and Dark Elf for this last one. Okay, where is it? 35, 36, and 37. Dark Elves, Elves, and Elf Lords. Also, I'm gonna bring another double ganger. Just for things. Okay, there we go. So, for this one, we're gonna go here. To the obnoxious thing. Because we're gonna need a little bit of... Uh, things that I'm gonna need to do. But yeah, we're almost done with all the different uh, combos. Oh, look! Uh, we almost got some of them. I'm gonna go for the elemental, that is the one that it requires the most parts. So the combo attack of the elementals is called the... What is the, the last elemental? There we go. So okay, this is the last one of the elementals. This only damage elemental monsters. So yeah, I'm gonna go and look at the... I'm gonna go for the Hydra again. Because the Hydra is gonna be the best one to get. Because a big ass elemental monster. Ow, my ass! I got fucked in the ass, but it's okay. Oh my god, my joystick! <laughs> if you see me stopping walking, it's because my joystick is actually acting up right now. <laughs> so this elemental is called a Spiritual Force. Yeah, I basically do half the damage to all monsters. Oh. Okay, so the next one I need to do is the Cockatrice. Actually, I'm gonna do the Cockatrice later. Uh, where is the other one? Oh, there we go. Actually, you know what? Let's use the it's just that. It just they just do that. 
and just uh, turn enemies into stuff. I'm getting bullied! Okay. Oh, I bring the demon dog. That's not a reboot. <laughs> I was like, oh, that didn't work because that's the wrong card. <laughs> okay, let's show that. Uh, what is the reboot actually? Oh, there it is. So we show the elementals. Let me get rid of the elementals now. Uh, elementals. Uh, what one? What was the other one? The Coca Tracer, right? Yeah, we showed the two. So we only have very few uh, combos to show, actually. Yeah, we got very, very little uh, combos to show. So let's show that, actually. You know what? I'm just gonna do... I'm gonna be this stupidly crazy. Okay, for this one, I need to do a... I'm gonna need two elemental monsters. So I'm gonna go for literally this, some of the elementals that I got here. And I think they actually got uh, quite a lot of health. So let me look for it. No, that's the gargoyle. Actually, how much HP got the gargoyle? Thank you. I should have got 50. Okay, yeah, let me show something real quick. I'm gonna bring these two monsters with me to show one of the combos right here, real quick. Because one of the combos that I have not done yet, it's called the... The Valkyr and Thanatos. And how Valkyr and Thanatos work, it's that you summon friendly creatures onto the field. Uh, let me look for them. Okay, there we go. So you summon friendly creatures onto the field, like this guy, this guy for example. And now you use uh, Thanatos. And basically what Thanatos and the Valkyrie does is this combo called one-way tickets. And basically they sacrifice friendly monsters. to do damage to any other monsters. So that's basically what it does. You sacrifice your monsters to do damage to all the others. That's how it goes. Let me check something real quick. Okay, yeah, I'm actually missing some Golden Archer. I'm looking because I think I'm missing actually another combo. Yeah, I'm missing a combo. I'm, I'm gonna use this combo here. Let me look for the monsters. Okay, I got the monster. Now let's use it. So, the gravity pillar. And that's what it does. It sucks monsters, slowly into them, and insta-kill them. So that's what that pillar does. So any monster unlucky enough to be very close, is insta-killed. Really cool, actually. Really, really fucking cool. The last 
set of combo cards that I want to show. It's actually a... Uh... What is it? I need the other Moray. There we go. The three Morays. And they do that. That's their power. It's actually called Mobeter Moray. And the other one of the Gravity Pillar and the Double Gangle is called, it's called Hell's Hole. So yeah, funny names. So I'm about to test the last ones. I still don't know, there is one, one more that I don't know how, how it actually uh, works. And it's apparently the side end. But I still don't know what I need to combine the side end with. That's the problem. I'm gonna get rid of this one, the filler. Uh, what is the ball here? There we go. So I'm, I have these two that actually restore. The reboots. These and the reboots. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I need to check what is going on because one is the side end. That is called the Song of Hades or Hades. And actually, there is another one that I'm missing. That... It requires... One is required two words. And there is one... There is actually two more. That I totally gonna be showing. Yeah, there is two more. Dryad, Gnome, Undyne, and Salamander. Okay, so I need... Yeah, I need two more combos to show before I call it for tonight's stream. So, Dryad... So, that is one. The Gnome... The... The Undyne... And the Salamander. Hmm. Oh, Salamander is 75. I went too far. So that's another combo. And another one that I also need to do, that I keep forgetting, is one that requires... Uh, let, me let, let me look again for it. I lost it. Why I lost it? Why am I so... No. Okay, found it. Okay, it's these two. For the other one, I need the Siren. I know that is the one that is part of the combo. Siren. Oh, there is the Mermaid. Oh, I'm stupid. There is a fucking Mermaid. I'm really, really nervy. I'm so sorry for that. So yeah, the Siren and the Undyne. That's another two things that I... That we're totally gonna need to do. So, this is the cool thing about this, and I'm gonna be showing something really cool. I'm gonna bring some independent monsters with me. Yeah, let me check what good independent monsters I can bring. So you guys can see them in action. Preferably monsters that attack, actually. That are independent and do damage. I might bring... Uh, let's see... I might bring two of these skeletons. Two steel skeletons. Why? Well... I'm gonna be that weird and stupid... That I'm gonna test these combos literally at the boss. So yeah, I'm almost done with all these combos, and I'm gonna test them at the boss. Why? Because some of them are actually quite interesting to see in action. 
and some I'm really curious to see what they're gonna do against the boss. And one of the first ones that I'm actually curious to see how it's gonna do against the boss is... Uh, Actually, let me look for both the Siren and the other one. I think I throw the Siren, I'm stupid. Okay, that is the Siren. There we go. So, that's one combo that I want to test. So, this one of the Siren and the Mermaid is called Song of Hades. And it basically causes poison damage. So that's what I'm gonna be testing against this boss. And see if it does actually cause poison. So let's try. Because technically this cows poison them. Uh. Okay, not to the boss. Apparently the boss is immune to that. So the next one I'm going to try uh. is not that one because I'm dying. I need the... not close enough? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. So I need another one. The Salamander, there we go. So the, the combo of these four is called Elemental Victory. And this gradually reduces the hit points of mech creatures for as long as they are on the battlefield. So, I don't know how close they need to be to the boss. So I'm gonna try to put them close to him. Like, probably somewhere around here. And see actually how good they work. Oh, they were too close. Well, I can test them again. So the next one I'm going to try, and that's the reason why I bring all these uh, monsters with me. Uh, let's see. The next combo requires the elves. This one. And this one is called Green Guardian. And this is supposedly for attack. I don't know how useful it is. But supposedly this actually does damage to... ...to enemies and restore your health. So this basically just is a free combo to attack a single enemy and heal. So probably not really that useful if you are if they are getting hits like that. Okay, I want to see this one against this creature. I'm sure that he's gonna do absolutely no damage at all. Because this guy is gonna be really, really uh, powerful. So I'm sure that he's gonna do absolutely no damage. Yeah, it barely does any damage to the boss. Or it's actually doing quite a good amount of damage. He's doing a good amount of damage? Holy shit! Look at that guy's go! They literally are almost beating the final boss. They alone defeated the final boss! Why 
they alone defeated the final boss. Oh my god! Holy shit, they literally defeated the final boss alone. That was impressive. Okay, so... Uh... Please again, say the current vision results now. I was not expecting that these boys will defeat the final boss. Like that. I was like, holy shit, they are beating the final boss. And in the end was like, holy shit, they beat the final boss. I can't believe what I saw. They be the fucking final boss. I'm fucking amazed. Okay. The last decks that I need to show. Because we already have seen that these fucking skeletons are no joke. They literally demolish the final boss by themselves. It's like... Holy shit, guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave the river, the fading and this one. So, okay, the final combo cards or combos that I need to show just before I call it for tonight. But I'm still surprised about that. I was not expecting that result. Seriously, I was not expecting that result. So I got a Phoenix, and I think the other one I need is the Golden Phoenix. That I think is Fire. The Golden Phoenix, there we go. I need to show also the Golden Butterfly, the Running Bird, and let me check what other one I'm missing. There is one called two, the Four Orbs. There we go. Oh, Vampire Bush. I think it's water, right? Vampire Bush. Okay, that's two. See on my flyer. I already got that. Vampire Bush, Sphinx, Iron, Mermaid, that's a cloud. Train another Raven, Elemental. That one, Running Bird, Gold Butterfly. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think we're almost done with all the things. The Elemental Victory, we were not able to see them in action, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, the Double Gangers. I'm gonna bring only three of them. And I'm gonna bring two skeletons. Why? You guys will see. So, I just need to show a few more combos. And then it will be the end of the stream. Yeah, this was quite a long journey to show all the different combos. But yeah, we're almost done. So I'm gonna go first for the four orc card combos. Because apparently it's a multi-attack that can do a lot of damage. Wow, I'm getting bullied. It's okay. We yeah, apparently these uh, combo cards or combo of four hours. It's just literally a four attack. And it's called Howing the Action. What a name. The one of the four double gangers card, I can't imagine how hard it will be to create a double. Especially because the getting four double gangers will be a pain. So that's it, and it didn't do that much damage. It was kinda lame. So the next combo that I want to do. I fuck it up right now. But I need two vampire bushes. There is one. That is two. So this combo is called Vampire Roots. So 
So basically what I need to do is just summon this. And what it does is supposedly starts sucking the enemy health and healing me. It's healing me, that's true. Oh, the vampire bush is dead. But yeah, that's the other thing. The other combo that uh, you guys saw me use a lot, it's the healing one. Is this one. And basically how it works, I'm gonna let myself get hit. So you guys can see it again, in case you are not here for the past three. Another hit will be fine. There we go. That's perfect. So this combo card it does this. Tender Mercy literally fully heals you. Like this. If you stand here, it literally fully heals you. So that's what it does. Now this combo card, this combo that I'm going to show. It's gonna sound hilarious and it's called Living Large. And basically what this does is that I'm gonna get hit by this no, by this guy because I'm a stupid. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna summon both of these and then I'm gonna use this that is called Living Large. This makes my monsters invulnerable. And they keep healing me, so I'm literally, as long as they are alive, they become invulnerable. But they died. But that's an interesting set of combo cards. I'm gonna get rid of these two guys. Actually, no, I'm not gonna get rid of the of that two cards because I'm about to show another really interesting combo. Card. But first, I'm gonna summon this. And this. And this combo card. There we go. This called type. This literally is called like that. As long as they are alive, every enemy is paralyzed. It's very short lived, but it is. And it's actually really cool. The fact that you can freeze everything on the screen is interesting. I'm gonna wait for them to get killed. Come on, die. There we go. Okay, so this next combo, you guys saw me use this a lot. This restores almost all my cards. So it's a very useful. And the last one that I'm gonna be using here. This one is literally called, uh, it's called just visiting. I want to get hit a lot. Yeah, I don't mind getting hit. That's what I want to do. Come on, keep hitting me. Wow, it's taking a sweet ass time. Well, actually, it's not doing that much damage to me, honestly. That thing's actually do way more damage than the final boss. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Come on, beat me. Yeah, these tentacles do way more damage than the final boss. I can't believe it. So this combo is called
called literally that. It's called just visiting. It did nothing! Well, that was a combo. Or is it? Nope. Actually, that's a combo. Just visiting. You use two double cards and it's a revive. But this is the catch. The revive can be used only once. So you cannot stack yourself with double gangers and keep using revive again and again. So that only works once. So yeah, don't go abusing of that or things are gonna be probably bad for you. So yeah, that was the last combo, the double ganger, and it's actually that for Bible. These are really hard uh, things to actually use. But yeah, that's all the combo cards, actually. That's all the different combos you can do in this game. You can only have one revive stack, or it only works once per level. Once per loaded level. Yeah, it only works one per level, so you cannot have more than two stacks of that things and hope that they work. They only gonna work once. I mean, it's a neat combo, because if you want a way to revive, you actually got one. Actually, let's prove that. Oh god, it's a different save file, it's okay. So, what is the double ganger cards? Like, let me bring let me bring five, for example. Yeah, let me bring five cards of of double ganger. And I can show that actually. Yeah, before calling it for tonight's game, I can show that. This will be a nice little test before calling it. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna bring the food with me. There we go. So this is my deck. It's just me and a shit ton of myself. It's me, myself, and I. So let me use this. Now I don't have infinite health, so I can see that in action. Actually, I'm gonna speed. Come on, keep hitting me. Come on. Faster. Faster! That's not fast enough! Kill me! I'm dead. I'm back to life. So now let's grab another set of double gang cards. Apparently I can use the combo again. Let's see if it works. Because if it works that will be hilarious. But apparently, according to this it says that it doesn't work twice. Oh god! It works twice! Holy shit! Never mind! You can bring four double gangers and you can keep reviving! 
Never mind. So the combo only worked once. But if you have multiple double gangers, you can keep using that a lot. Dumb. There we go. Okay, that's actually really cool. So that was nice to know. So that means you can literally... I mean, in a real... In a real match of this game, let's be honest. In a real match of Lost Kingdoms, it will be impossible. But literally, this can be your deck. Just six double gangers. And probably cards that recover the double gangers. Actually, let me check something real quick. Before I forget. Uh... Elephant. Uh, do you want to compare chains on this deck? No. Okay. So, I'm bringing an elephant. Uh, where is the water monsters? Okay, I'm gonna check something before I call it for the stream. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of... There we go. Like this. Okay. Time to test something, because this will be hilarious. If it works, it will be a hilarious combination. So technically now, I'm invincible. I can revive. If I do dual restore... I can bring back my double gangers! Okay! Oh my god, you know what that means? You can have two double gangers card. Use the combo. Use a card to restore your double gangers. And use the combo again. <laughs> so if you have cards to restore cards, you can literally keep doing the double ganger combo over and over again. That's crazy! So you only need two double gangers. And bring some monsters that actually bring cards back to use. And you can have an infinite way to keep reviving. Holy shit, that's impressive! Okay. That's a neat experiment, so yeah. If you play this game in the future and you grind for a double ganger or try to make a copy of a double ganger, you officially got yourself an infinite revive. Especially if you put cards that actually restore the uh, that cards back to action. But that's extremely broken, oh my god. So yeah. If you got the chance to actually uh, do that, of collect double gangers, copy the double ganger or get enough XP points to, co to duplicate for a second double ganger and you bring monsters to actually fireworks? Oh, it's the Moraes. And you got cards to bring them back? You can have an infinite supply of revives with you. By the very cheap cost of 20 gems. That's fucking impressive. But anyways, with that, I'm gonna officially be calling it for tonight. I really hope all of you guys had fun in tonight's stream. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna be streaming something tomorrow. I will have to let you guys know. If I do stream, it's gonna be a very short, simple stream, for sure. But yeah, for now, that will be all for tonight. I really hope all of you guys had fun in tonight's stream. Thank you all of you guys for coming. It was really fun to have you here and to play this game for you all. And I will be see you guys probably the next weekend for another game. So take care everyone, have a good night, stay awesome, and Dino love you all. Rare.